Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this cold particle text reveal animation is very easy to create and it is done in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and for this tutorial you will need this Studio HDRI Reflection Map and I got this from Polyhaven. So I'll put a link in the description from where you can download this. So after that you can import it in After Effects and you are ready to go. So we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can go with 30 FPS or whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are ready to add our text. So for that you can select the text tool and you can just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type Happy Diwali since it's Diwali. And by the way, Happy Diwali to all the Indian creators and those who celebrate. So once you're happy with your text, you can just select this and let's align it into the center of this comp, something like this. And you can use whatever font you want. I'm using this corner store JF. So once you're happy with your font, let's select this and let's make its anchor point in the center. So you can hold on the control key or command key on Mac, then just simply double click on this. Now we can select this and let's make this bigger, something like this. So we are done with that text. Now we are going to create another composition and let's call this reflection. After that, just click on OK. Now in this comp, we are going to first drag our image and let me just quickly scale this down. Now we are going to apply a couple of effects on top of this. So first one is motion tile. So just search for it and let's drag it onto this. After that, you can extend the output width and output height, something like this. And you can play around with the scale of the image just like this. Also, I'm going to apply curves and let's apply curves to this, something like that. We can also place this above and we can make this little bit brighter, something like this. And let's go back to the main comp. Now we can drag our reflection map. So let's drag it over here. Make sure the reflection map is below the text layer. After that, you can select the reflection and let's change its track mat to alpha mat. And if you're not able to see the track mat option, then you can click over here. Now, once you are done with it, we are ready to add some effects on top of this. So first one is going to be tint. So let's select this and let's drag it onto the reflection map. After that, let's apply offset. So let's drag it onto this. So first, let's play around with these. So let's change the white color and I'm going to pick a really nice cold color. Something like this. After that, we are going to animate the reflection map using the offset property. So you can see that I can move this and here we have this animation. So let's go to the very beginning and let's add a keyframe. Now you can go to the very end and after that, you can just simply move this something like that. So if I play back here, you can see we have this really nice animation going on. Now we are pretty much done with this and let's add another effect called blobilize. So just search for it, CZ Plobilize and let's drag it over here. Now we're going to change a couple of the settings onto this one. So the first one is reflection map. So I'm going to set this to our text. And after that, we can also select effects and source. Now we can change the property from lightness to alpha. So you can zoom in and let's play around with a couple of these properties. So softness, you can just play around with this and I think something between 5 to 10 is good. So we can set this to 6 or 6.5 maybe. So I think this is looking fine. Now cutaway is completely up to you. So if you want to have a thinner text, then you can just simply increase its value or you can add the animation of it, like coming it something like this. But for this example, I'm going to set this to 10. That's it. Now let's go under the lightning and you can play around with these fed values so you can change the intensity however you want but for this one i'm going to stick with this so now we have our text and at last i'm going to apply curves effect to this so that we can enhance its look so let's drag the curve and i'm going to just increase its brightness to something like this so here you can see we have this really nice golden text and our reflection map is giving us this really nice reflections and if you think that this is too slow then you can select this press u and let's go back to the variant and let's change the offset value and let's increase this 
so now you can see it's a lot faster and we are done with this so our last step is to add some particles so for that i'm going to create a new solid so right click go to new and let's add a solid and let's make this black color just click on ok and on this one we are going to apply cc particle system so just search for it let's drag the cc particle system too and after that we can play around with a couple of these settings so first i'm going to change the birth rate so let's set this to something like 0.1 or 0.2 maybe so you can see that we have fewer particles and longevity we can set this to 3 now let's go under the producer and i'm going to increase its radius so that we have widespread of particles something like this now we can also position this down somewhere around here after that let's go to the physics and first i'm going to change the velocity to something like 0.1 let's change the animation type to fractal explosive now we can set the gravity to something like negative 0.1 so that all the particles will move to the top something like this and we are pretty much done with all of these settings let's go under the particles and let's change this from line to quad polygons something like this so now you can see we have these really nice particles and again we can play around with the birth sites so you can make this smaller and the death side you can increase this size variation we can set this to somewhere around here so all the things will remain same let's change the color for both of these values to something like this and let's make them a little bit darker just like that so once you're happy with this let me just quickly play this so there you can see we have our particles and if you want you can add some resistance to this something like this so now the particles will move but with little less velocity something like this and if you want your particles to like move here and there then you can add some velocity something like this so now you can see that the particles are moving randomly in all the other directions but for this one i'm gonna stick with this also let's change the radius of y to something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have these really nice particles and we can just probably move this further so that the particles are visible now we can select this and we can apply some effects for example let's apply glow to this after that let's play around with the radius and let's increase this little bit and let's decrease the glow intensity now i'm going to select the glow effect and press ctrl d to duplicate it on this one we are going to increase the radius something like this and let's select this and press ctrl d once again and on this one we are going to increase this quite a bit something like this so now you can see we have these really nice glowing particles and we can probably place this below our text just like that now you can match its color by simply going inside this and you can just play around and pick these colors so now if i play back you can see we have this really nice particles and let's create a solid background so let's go solid and let's place this below all of these layers and on this one i'm going to apply four color gradient so just search for it and let's drag it over here and let's change its value so i'm going to place these colors over here and now let's pick some colors from the example and let's make these darker something like this so this is completely experimental you can play around with these values so i think this is looking fine let's place it over here let's move them around let's make this darker as well also we can select this and let's change its mode to add we can also make our text bigger so let me just quickly select this and let's make this bigger just like this also we can add an adjustment layer on top of all of these and let's apply glow to this as well to make this a lot big better and let's increase this and i'm going to just decrease the value something like this so yeah, i think this is looking fine now let's add the scaling animation for that i'm going to create a null object and let's parent our text so just parent this if you want you can parent the particle layers as well but for this one i'm going to stick with the text only so let's quickly add a scaling keyframe so let's add keyframe over here and the beginning i'm going to just increase its size to something like this or maybe we can go a little extreme now select the keyframes press f9 and under the graph let's change the curves to something like this and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph 
now let's add some opacity animation so let's press t for opacity let's add a keyframe and move it ahead in the beginning let's set this to zero so there you go now we have this really nice animation we can probably move the keyframes closer just like that you can also play around with the position of the particles so that none of them are visible in the beginning and after that you can see that we have these really nice particles coming in so i think that their size is too much so we can just simply go inside the particles and let's decrease the size there you go now you can see we have created this very nice text animation with some glowing particles all this using only after effects and the best thing about this animation is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just double click on it and after that you can type whatever you want something like this and you can see that all the animations are already applied so this is how you can create this kind of text reveal animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one